Hey guys, it's Darren Sprobs here, and this is episode 18 of my Universal Minecraft editor. And today we're doing a bit of a different one. Um, we're doing mobs, okay guys? Yes, mobs. <laughs> uh, anyway, so what I've done here is just made a selection of different mobs, okay, in the game. And I'm just showing you on the laptop what you can actually edit and stuff. So I'll just grab myself a sword so you can see what happens when I kill these things. So in here we got ourselves a lucky shulker. Now you might have seen these on my channel before, but this one's the emerald one. So if I kill him, he will drop 64 emeralds. And he's also got a death loot table on him of the end city treasure. Okay, and obviously he's got one life. Curse of binding, that's quite rare. Uh, yeah, so that's that dude. And then in here, we've got a sheep, which I've called Love Sheep, because he's got love hearts forever, pretty much. <laughs> uh, I'm just showing that he's got no AI, look, but he's still making his sound. As you can hear, he goes, bah, and stuff. But if you watch, I'll kill him, and he drops a totem of undying and a few potions and some other stuff. All stuff that would make you happy. <laughs> And then in here we got a creeper. Now this is a charge creeper. This is how you do this. You can edit on, you know, on creepers. You can just type in a byte tag called powered with a non capital P. Um, all of this is all on the wiki, by the way. And you just set that to one and he'll become a charged creeper. And I've just set him on fire for, well, it's not forever. It's quite a long time. Probably like 10 minutes, I think it is, maximum. I'm not 100% sure. But for this, I've had to give him unlimited life because I'll see he'll just die. But I'll show you at the very end how much he's got a different blast radius. I'll show you how big it is, right? But that's that guy. He's got AI, but he's not moving much because obviously he's getting damage from the fire. That's that. In here we got a zombie villager. Yes, they can wear armor, if you didn't know. Um, yeah, I'm just showing off that he's actually got a really, 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 really good um, shovel. Okay, so it's got knockback 10 on it, as you can see. He's hitting me miles away. <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm just going to kill that guy. But... I've given it so the chance of that um, shovel dropping is only 0.1, which I'll explain in a minute on the computer so it makes sense. So he drops all of his armor, but he'll never drop that spade or shovel, whatever you call it. Uh, this is cool. This one's quite funny. This is the Enderman, but I've called him a Slowman. Um, yeah. So if I put this in survival, uh, I'm probably actually going to use this. And that one. And I might just hold that in my offhand. Jake, don't need it. So watch this one, guys. So I'm in survival. I look at him. And he teleports away. Ready? I'll find him in a minute. There he is. He's called a slow man for a reason. Come here. What? Look. <laughs> Come and get me then. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, his damage, right, where is he? His attack damage is not even, <laughs> doesn't even kill me. Oh. Anyway, so yeah, he's a slave man. <laughs> ridiculous. Unfortunately, they can't wear helmets. Um, I'm going to have to keep walking and talking. But yeah, um, this guy's got um, a chance of dropping Ender Pearls. More than normal, and eyes of ender. Okay. Oh, he only dropped one ender pearl. Not a great example, but like I say, it is all randomized. And then lastly, I just want to show you you can make like zombie bosses. That so this is a husk. He's gonna actually attack me because I'm in survival. But he's got a lot of damage, as you can see. Oh my god! Please don't die. <laughs> there we go. But he actually had a zombie helmet on. So it made him look a bit different. But anyway, guys, um, that's quite a lot to take in, right? <laughs> but 
But this is the best way of me explaining this, to do mobs. So I thought, why don't we do a Vindicator together, okay? Um, it's probably the best thing to do, I think, because he's like a new mob and he comes with a axe already. So I'm just going to put this iron door down there and set myself into creative and spawn him in. There's him. Right, let's get on the PC and we'll edit him, okay? So we're on the PC now, we've loaded up Universal Minecraft Editor and I'm just going to find my save which I've called Mobs and what I'm going to do is go to Chunk which is my player obviously and here's Mr Vindicator okay now if you go on Mobs most mobs all look the same like this okay now if you're making a mob spawner or something like that delete this okay by just clicking on it and press delete because then you can it will spawn multiple that UUID is just a code for that mob, okay? That's all it is. Don't worry about that. That's all it is. Just delete that if you want to spawn multiple from a mob spawner, okay? Now, this is an important one. Armor items and hand items, okay? So this is how I've done my lucky shulkers and things like that in the past. So what I've done is because a shulker doesn't actually wear armor, does he? Or she? Who knows what they are? <laughs> um, yeah, I've just put emeralds in each slot, basically. Okay? Or redstone, or whatever you want. So, for this guy, he's obviously got um, an iron axe in his hand, doesn't he? When he comes to attack you, he pulls it out, doesn't he? So, I can just click on here, change the item, just change that to say a diamond uh, axe is what I'm looking for. There we go. And he's got a diamond axe now. Now, if I want to add another item, I can just control C, delete that one, and it will go in his other hand. Okay. And I can change that item to say a hoe. So he's going to wield both of them. Okay. Like I say, I'll copy that. If I delete one of them, well, all four of these, I'll delete all of them. I don't know if these guys wear armor or not, but I don't think they do. But let's just make him drop diamonds, say. Yeah? So we got that, so it drops one diamond, so it says count. We'll copy that, and we'll paste that in four times. So now technically he's got a diamond on his head, his legs, his, arm, his body, and obviously his head head <laughs> did I do that right boots yeah boots so it goes this way guys so that's the head that's the chest that's the legs and that's the boots okay that's how it goes to so say like if I wanted to drop like random numbers so we'll make that one three we'll make that one five and we'll make that one two okay that's all that and now he's obviously got his weapons in his hands now here you got hand drop chances and armor drop chances. Now this is the percent chance that it's actually going to drop, okay? So say if I want him to always drop one diamond, because that was the top one, right? See? He'll always drop one diamond, at least one diamond, okay? So that's how it works. So whatever order they are is whatever order these would be, okay? Straightforward. Exactly the same process with the hand thing. So let's make him so he never drops his um, diamond axe, but he will always drop his hoe, okay? So we'll test this out in a minute on the console, but yeah. So that's all that. Motion is just motion. So basically that's the Y value. So he's kind of in the air, <laughs> but you wouldn't even notice that because it's point something it's pointless that's like uh, x coordinate and that's the z coordinate that's just like his you know if he was in the air basically so it's nothing important it's really important for the um falling blocks spawners and stuff like that it's really important but not really for these sort of mobs position is position straightforward rotation is rotation again straightforward 
Now this is a really important tag. Um, if you want to make like, like I've got on my prison servers, um, basically if the mobs, you know, want to pick up your items or whatever, you need to set that to one. But you need to make sure that mob griefing is on, okay? Because I made a mistake in the past saying that the zombie wouldn't pick up um, some armor. It needs to be mob griefing on, okay? So if you want him to pick up loot, press 1, and that will always pick it up in his hand, whatever you've set his hand as. See this one here, it says left-handed. If you set that to 1, it will be left-handed. So then he'll, therefore, he'll only pick up things and it will go in his left hand. Okay? But you only pick up one item, because like I say, they're not technically supposed to have diamonds on as armor, are they? So, yeah, that makes sense, right? Uh, this persistence quiet one is really important as well if you want your mobs to stay there So say if I didn't rename this dude, he will actually disappear But if I set this to one like that, he won't Okay uh, What else is important? Invulnerable, self-explanatory really Put that to one, he won't die Glowing doesn't actually affect us yet on console but if I was to load this word up on PC, he will actually have a glowing box around him. On ground is on ground. A left hand had gone through. Leashed is if they got a leash attached to him. I've not really played a lot with that, to be fair. Um, and yeah, the most of this other stuff don't, you don't really need to touch. Hurt time is his damage he's been taken. Okay, so say like. If I hit him once with a sword, it would probably do like 8 damage, so that would actually say 8. But his health would be that, still. Um, all this stuff's like the never and all that. Not really any point going over that, really. But, this is what is quite important. If you go on like Google and go on your, I don't know, your browser, okay? And if I type in, god, how do I spell that? Vindicator. Indeed. Indicator Minecraft. There we go. Like this, if you type in the mob, okay, so we got the Vindicator, he's popped up. If you go down here, look, they each of them have like special tags. Like a chicken has the eggs that they lay. Most of the animals have love, you know, all these different things. So if you want to find out more, just go on your internet browser, type in whatever mob it is, and just look down for the data values, okay? And this will come up with all the tags. Now this guy comes with a tag called Johnny. Now, Johnny is like a hidden secret kind of thing. If you type in that, he will actually attack any mobs. Now, this is really good for farms and stuff. So if I want him to be a Johnny, I can just do this, click on him, add a bite tag, do that, done. So now, he's Johnny, but his name will be Johnny, so I don't want him to be called Johnny. We're going to call him Bob, like that. Alright? Straightforward. I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. If you want to add no AI, Add a byte tag like this, add no AI, like so, yeah. Set that to one, he won't move, he won't do anything. If you want to make them silent, you need to do this. Okay, but this, again, this is all on the Wikipedia. Look, if I went to sh tags common to all entities, yeah, that's like entities, this isn't what we're doing. We're doing all mobs, okay? So if I show, look, this is everything, guys. There's so much stuff you can do, okay? But anyway, let's get on the um, Xbox, and I'll show you exactly... Well, I'll just show you everything, should we? I'm going to turn off his no AI, though, because I want him to walk around. But yeah, let's go. Right, let's do this. Come on. Right. So there's Bob. Let's uh, get rid of all this stuff. Right, we're just wearing the armor from now on then. 
I'm just gonna put that in my offhand as well, just in case. Right, let's break this, and Bob should have two weapons. Yes. Oh my god, he's so quick. I never knew they were that quick, but right, I need to do that. Phew. That was close. <laughs> Zombie head on me. Right. So, as you've seen, he had his weapons, okay? So now, let's kill him, and he should drop a diamond. At least one. Yep, and his hoe. So there you go, guys. That's pretty much it. Um, like I say, though, there is a few things that are a bit weird about this. Like, as you can see, the hoe is quite... It's got, like, half the damage. Now, there is ways of changing this and stuff, but it, it, I, I don't know. It's, I haven't quite gone into it in a lot of detail because I don't mind when, you know, bosses and stuff drop damaged items because, you know, it shouldn't be fully repaired because they're going to be a bit more OP, aren't they? But anyway, guys, I did promise that I would show you this creeper guy. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is stick it in survival. And yeah, let's let's see what happens, shall we? Hello. Here we go. <laughs> anyway, I'm Darius Pros. Thanks so much for watching. If there's any questions, let me know.